I am so thrilled to be here this morning to launch the inaugural Young Chef, Young Mixologist competition. And I'm especially proud to be in a room filled with so much promise. It's been an absolutely tough task whittling down to the finalist. They hail from all over the island. They're at varying stages of their career. We have students, we've got graduates, we've got chefs, we've got business owners. The finalists are passionate about the industry and they want to carve out a long-term career for themselves in this field. Cooking for me is more than recipes and mixing ingredients together. Cooking is an act. Nothing motivates me more than seeing the people around me enjoy what I make. Ever since growing up, cooking has been my hobby. I dream of traveling the world, experiencing new dishes, recipes, and one day going to my own restaurant. Enjoying food, eating it, creating holistically, it is a great experience, and I hope others will see how I see how great it is for you. In the next three, four days, a lot of things happening. We have a whole host of chefs, master chefs, they're going to be able to teach you or refresh you um, with a lot of um, basic techniques to help you to excel at the competition. And they're going to teach you um, knife skills, food safety, butchering, braising of meats, roasting, sautéing. Chef Nelsia also will be from Silver Sands teaching you desserts, how to make quick and easy desserts. And then the following weekend, we're going to come together and you're going to have to execute things on time. You're going to have to be able to articulate what you've made and um, you, you're going to be a little bit more well-rounded when it comes to competition. I'm expecting to really be wow, and as well as the rest of Grenada and across the world. So and I'm looking forward to um, meeting and working with all of you in the next three days. Okay, let's talk about how to hold a knife then, right? Let's start off with that. Fingers in and when we're cutting. And then you, you're applying the pressure. Let the knife do the work. The first session, we did a lot of um, cuttings and so on. One thing that I had to remember that was a highlight for me, based on how you cut something, it's going to affect your dish. Your size matters. The way you cut stuff, it matters when you cook, different rates. So that is something I have to always keep in mind, always keep remembering. Yeah. The first session was really good. I learned more techniques than what I've already learned before. And to always put your hand in the proper place because you're always going to get injured. So no matter what, you always have to keep your hand in a proper position. If I don't have my knife proper, if I don't get the palm properly, my vegetables or whatever that I'm cutting up would be uneven and we don't want that in our dish especially in a time of like competition. So always make sure you get the most from the fish, all right? Avoid the bone, okay? Look how it's clean cuts. Bone, fish stock, it's clean cut. So that's what you want. So use everything from the fish, no waste, and the most important thing, be, be very creative, okay? When you plan a menu, when you plan a dish, when you're doing a dish, you always think about balance, you know, from the nutrients, protein, carbohydrates, you know, um, what you're going to put on a menu. And then you start to work with flavors. Well, what I'm doing here, I'm, I'm being a chemist. I'm mixing all those ingredients together to get that one perfect flavor that I need. Almost there. We make, that, we make that crater there as a cup for the curry so that the curry don't go all over the plate. It's presentation, you know, to keep the presentation rustic but yet still classic. It's all about switching the game, changing the game. You're not necessarily going to reinvent the wheel. Trying to reinvent the wheel cooking is very hard. You know, there are classics and there are basics for a reason. And then you spin off the basics. You know, your food should be interesting if you, you know, you look at a plate. I should want to pull out my camera and take a picture of this. You know, that's always how you want your food to look. Thank you. Yeah, the flavor is nice.
nice. Morning guys, today we're just here to do a nice quick demo, should be within the same time that you guys will be competing, just to show you guys that it is possible, keep it simple, keep it smart, you know as we spoke yesterday the main thing was flavour, food should always taste good, that's coming along well, as you can see the fish is turning white. All right, it means it's cooking via the process of marination. Yeah. <laughs> it is an appetizer, yeah? So it does not have to be huge. Nice, beautiful color. So we're going to use some of this for presentation as well. And there you have ceviche. All right, on to the main. Or meat. Last thing. We got our spice rub, inclusive of the salt. Not very long, around 30 seconds, we're aiming for perfect medium, yeah? Remember, always keep how you want to play it in mind. So our presentation in mind, front of mind all the time. Done. Mm -hmm. You are so excited about this. I believe that investment in the future is critical to ensuring our success as a tourism destination. It's always about the experience. And we thought the experience can actually make money. Okay. So to me it's always about the experience and mm -hmm. actually give off more of my experience mm -hmm. and potential to mm -hmm. actually those outside there mm -hmm. actually see what I'm capable of and what yeah. I can actually do and what I learn from the past chefs and right. work with. Right, right. Yeah, so it's mostly mostly about the experience and taking my chef skills to another level.